All right, guys, get a lot of messages. People ask me, how do I rig this? The line through Nate's bait. I'm gonna show you exactly how I rig it. Um, but keep in mind, I rig this specifically for the waters that I fish. I don't know where you're at um, and how your fish relate, but the way these fish fit uh, relate in the specific water that I fish, they tend to fish, look up, they, fit, they feed up. The trout tend to be up in the top five feet of the water column and these fish will relate to cover. Um, they'll relate to all kinds of things that are that are near that shallow water. So I want my bait to be in the top five feet of the water column and I wanna fish it, just creep it slowly, just enough to keep that, the uh, tail just barely, you know, just going, right? So um, the way I rig it is specific to this. I just need you to keep that in mind. Uh, it may work for you, may not. So uh, first thing I do, these are saltwater jig trailers. They sell them in bulk bins at all kinds of tackle shops. Um, I've, I've got these at the Fisherman's Warehouse in Sacramento. They're in a bin, I don't know what they are, $3 each, something like that. There's a flat part and then there's a round part, okay? So I get this, cut off the little, uh, cut off the little tail, so now I'm left is this little chunk of plastic. Then what I do is I take this chunk of plastic, I take the fat, the fat end of it, which is this end, and I put it down into the belly, right? So if you see down in there, I'll push it down in there and the skinnier part will go up towards, up into the head area. Fits into the cavity just like that. It, it adds a little, um, it pushes the bait out a little bit. So it actually balances the bait uh, really, really nice. Fits in there just perfectly. I do not glue it inside. Um, it just fits snug. I, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it, it fits snug in there. So that's what it looks like. Then what I do, uh, let me put this 20 pound, 20 pound fluoro Seaguar. Uh, I've been fishing it for a while. I fished this Nate bait for the last four or five years now, this specific way. I think I've caught six fish over 10 pounds on it and uh, just tons and tons of fish on this particular bait, rigging it this exact way. So um, line through, three out owner treble. Tie it up real quick. Show you what I do here. Okay. Then what I do is try to get the flat part of the treble facing towards the towards the line through. Get the here, I'll show you when I'm done. Let me get this down in there. Boop. Just like that. You cannot see the hooks from the top. I barely, oh, I got it kind of weird, but there. You cannot see the hooks from the top. They sit just near these little peck fins, 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 fins here. Uh, and I, I literally will watch the fish follow this. I can see the fish following it and they are just intently watching it. I don't know if they can see the hooks or not because of the way they're, the way they're up underneath like that. Maybe they just think they're part of the, part of the, the, uh, the pectoral fins, but I think it, it camouflages the hook enough where they don't see a hook. They just don't see it. Um, and then I just fish it very, I mean, when I cast it, it'll almost float. But because of this, this big piece of plastic, it really balances it so it'll sit nice in the water and I can just creep it. I mean, just creep it. And that tail's going and I'm, in, I'm fishing and it depends, you know, depending on my cadence and how long I let the bait fall, I can get it down. I mean, I can get it down 10 feet if I want to. Typically I'm in that four, five, six, six five four range in the water column just depending on what i'm fishing um and i just creep it and i'll watch these fish i literally will watch them come up follow it and i'll stop it the cool thing about this bait is fishing it this way is as i'm going and that tail's just kicking when i stop the bait this tail will continue to kick for a couple seconds almost at a dead stance it'll stop and the tail will continue to kick and i've seen them i've seen it trigger fish i mean right in front of me um Lots and lots of times. Uh, I get some that are real close. A lot of the, the bigger fish typically are way, you know, I don't ever see the bite, but a lot of those fours, fives, sixes, I watch them come up and eat it. Um, but that's that's how I get, um, how I rig it. I don't, I know a lot of guys use the harness. It's awesome. They got all kinds of special rigging and, and all that kind of stuff, and that's great. It's just not how I use it. Um, it's specific for a specific way I'm fishing. So I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions, hit me up. 
I'm going to do a little swim video, I think, to show you what it looks like a rig like this.